planets are currently heating up right now, and science really doesn't have a, an answer for it. Um, the way I see it is they're really tuning into the vibration of what's going on with this whole 2012 event. What's your interpretation of the planets heating up? Well, I know there's basically the main interpretation of that is that the, our solar system is moving into a more energetic location of the galaxy. So that's kind of a physical location interpretation of why the planets are heating up. I would tend to default to the galactic alignment as sort of the basis of this process. Like we're lining up at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So metaphorically, one could think about that as more energy coming into the local system. Yeah. And there may be a, also a scientific model that then can be explained in regards to this that's causing more energy to come into the local system, affecting not only the sun, but all the planets that are mm -hmm. connected to the sun. That's great. I appreciate that. Thanks, John. Sure. I know that, uh, John, you're really big on meditation. and. Um, I noticed that during meditation you kind of transcend, when a person kind of transcends time um, as if there's no time whatsoever. What are your opinions on how time is perceived through meditation and the benefits of med meditation? Well, I think of Vipassana meditation primarily, which is the breathing in and the breathing out. So there's a still point at the end of the out breath and that is kind of like the cessation of time, the still point between the currents of inflow and the outflow. So the end of time is not necessarily a bad thing, um, you know, and, and to sort of like pass through that doorway between the breaths can give a person a direct experience of what's beyond the flow of time. Mm -hmm. You know, and one other correlation I've noticed too that, and you've probably noticed the same thing, when we dream, it's not as if someone's looking at their watches in and, and a dream or they, right. they're saying that it's, uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's Saturday or it's Friday during your dreams. We don't necessarily notice yeah. that. Um, one last question, if, if I may. Um, it, I've talked to many people recently about this, too. They say that it, it seems like our dreams are more real and reality is more fake. Um, why is that phenomenon? Well, the, the surface of reality is the most superficial surface part of a very, very deep ocean, in a sense. So sometimes our consciousness can be fixated to the veil of appearances, the surface of things. Not necessarily so, you can be tuned into the objects and things that are happening on the surface, but one can also have a sensitivity to the deeper connections that are going on uh, behind the veil of appearances. Right. So that's... Uh, that's kind of what I think about. And dreams, of course, are sort of like our deeper unconscious uh, giving us messages. So it's coming from that uh, timeless place. Great. Thank you, John. And we are speaking with William Henry right now. Um, William made mention of CERN and how it might be opening up a, a cosmic gate. Uh -huh. And uh, what my question to William is, um, is it possible for malevolent forces to come through as well as benevolent? Yeah, well, I don't see why not. It's like a Trojan horse in that, in that case. Could okay. it be a Trojan horse? The answer is yeah. Exactly. Could be. And what kind of entities do you think would be coming through if that were the case? No, no telling. I, mean, I can't even begin to speculate. I mean, that's, you know, again, I mentioned the Russian scientists that say this is a time travel machine and that it's time travelers from the future coming in because they can't be coming from the past. And it could be us. Yeah. It could just be us. Sure. They're coming back. And okay. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Daniel, um, what's your impression on how time seems to be speeding up with a lot of people? A lot of people feel like there's a sense of urgency and time seems, seems to be speeding up. What's your impression and how do you see something like that? Uh, well, I think it's like we're having more events in shorter and shorter periods, which, which you know, in a way kind of like intensifies our, our psyche. And I think it, it, it's, it's sort of like a dual thing. On the one hand, it's like the sense of time going fast. On the other hand, more events almost make it seem like slower also. It's like we're having to deal with more things in shorter intervals. And I think this seems to be... Um, predicted some of the hypotheses around the Mayan calendar, that it's almost like a spiral 
and then she's going on these tightening, tightening gyres to go deeper into the spiral. So it seems to be um, suggested by Terence McKenna's work and the time wave of his work. So do you figure, do you see it as we're going towards the singularity as time is speeding up along that kind of premise, or...? Well, in my book, I looked, I, I suggested instead of thinking of singularity, maybe it's like more like a multiplicity. The singular seems like another like masculine attempt to kind of control the discourse. Maybe we're going to um, see a lot of like openings to more possibilities rather than contraction. Thank you. Thank you.